Welcome to Health for Fourth Grade. This is lesson 132. You're looking at pages six to 11, and you'll also need your anatomy worksheet one for this lesson, or for after the lesson, okay? First of all, we're gonna take a look. Let me grab my pointer. Sorry about that. We're gonna take a look at our skeleton that we've looked at before. And so we've looked at some of the many different bones that we, um, are that are part of our skeletal system that make up so that we can stand. One of the things, the, the vertebra or vertebrae, if it's got the E at the end, it's pronounced vertebrae. If it's got the A at the end, it's pronounced vertebra, okay? And the vertebrae is comprised of 23 uh, individual bones that, that work together, it's called the spinal column, and those make it possible for you to sit and stand and to do many other things that you can do. All right, and so then we, we have our, our rib cage that protects vital organs like our heart and lungs. The clavicle is our collarbone, um, and I've actually, I've talked about this, but I have broken my collarbone when I was 12, fell down a flight of stairs, and it was quite painful for several weeks. Um, and um, we also have the shoulder blade, which so that would be on the back side of your shoulder, and that is called your scapula. The sternum is your breastbone, and that's what the ribs all anchor onto on the front. Now, if we'll look, we're going to look at the hand and the foot muscles, or I'm sorry, um, bones that we have looked at, or that we skipped the other day. Um, when we do have your <laughs> the skull and the cranium. Um, the cranium is the, the top part of your skull and the facial bones, everything from here down is your, is the bottom part of the skull. The whole thing's called the skull. The cranium's the top part, it protects the brain. And then your facial bones are what protect your eyes and your nose and your mouth. Um, and there's many bones in there, okay? Now we're going to take a look at the difference between your hand and your feet bones. And, and we have a couple things that we can remember, a hint to remember, the carpals and the metacarpals. And we have the carpals and metacarpals, tarsals and metatarsals. So they're very similar in name, but this is how we can remember them. You steer a car with your carpals and metacarpals, okay? and you walk on tar with your tarsals and metatarsals, okay? So tar, you walk on tar, or you steer a car. So if you steer a car, you remember that that's your carpals and metacarpals, okay? And just, just to go a little bit into that, if you are looking at page eight, you'll see the picture. The, the phalanges, both our fingers and toes are called phalanges, so that's just, your actual fingers, the bones that are in um, your fingers are your phalanges. And then your wrist or the bones inside your hand are called your metacarpals, okay? And your wrist bone is your carpal, okay? If you've ever heard the term carpal tunnel, that's where somebody has been, has has like an arthritis in their wrist because of doing a repeated motion. So someone who plays the piano might get carpal tunnel because they have their hands in the same positions all the time. Someone who does a, a job where they're constantly doing the same motion over and over can also get that. On your tarsals and metatarsals and phalanges in your foot, you see that picture, the phalanges are your toes. The bones that are in your foot are the metatarsals, and then your tarsals would be your ankle and everything that goes with that, okay? There's a quick check there on page eight that I'm gonna have you do on a piece of paper. Um, one note is that I said that there were 23 bones in the spinal column, and I just noticed that it says 33, so I'm sorry about that, um, but 33 bones go in the spinal column in an adult's spinal column. 
Um, there is a skeleton picture on page nine that I'm going to have you fill in the number or the names for those. Try to see if you can fill, look at the, the um, skeleton on page three for a few minutes and then see if you can do those from memory. And then 10 and 11 are nutrients your body needs. And so those through proteins, carbohydrates, fats, fiber, liquids, calcium, iodine, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, vitamin A, B vitamins, vitamin C, D, E, and K. And I want you to read through those and see what, um, what specifically those vitamins are doing for you and what different, different things that your body needs. When you are done with that, um, there's actually homework for this lesson. And so you're to reread pages two to 11. And then we're gonna do the first part of our, our first comprehension checkup or chapter checkup, I'm sorry, CCU one, page 20, do section B, all of it on notebook paper. And you're also doing the anatomy worksheet in, um, that your parents have. Um, and it's just coloring and labeling your, actually it's not labeling, it's just coloring the different bones and then identifying the type of joints on the back of the page, okay? So you may go ahead and get started on that and I will see you next time.